Hey guys, welcome back to more AFK Arena. In today's video, we're back over on the test server looking at the new Voyage of Wonders, which is the Highburn Stronghold. Um, I'm hoping, I'm pretty much sure I'll have this out by the time it drops on global server, so we should all be set. And like in the other ones, I'm gonna do the quick run through where I talk about where you gotta do, what you gotta shoot. Um, I'll just do that to give you the basic overview and then I'll go for a quick run through in case that first overview didn't make sense. The first thing I want to look at quickly is the chest you get from it, which these are the heroes you can select. It's a really nice chest because it has Shamira in it for early game players and for later game players, it has three heroes that aren't farmable at all and they're sort of niche heroes so it can give you an option to build something um, on another account. So those are your options. I normally try to avoid farmable things, but if you're an early-ish game player and you're building Shamira, it's just a really good option in my opinion anyway. So that is that. Let's jump into it. Uh, what we're going to do is go here. I did it once, made one bad call, and so we have to try it again. So I'm just going to finish that adventure and show you guys the right way, and then I'll go through and do it after that. So begin this adventure. So the basic way you're going to want to do it is if it ever loads. If it loads, then we'll show you what to do. Uh, hello game. Do, 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 there we go. Okay, so there's the goodies. The one with the chest is in this bottom corner. So it's the, like it's just over here, and it's probably the easiest one to get. So if that's, if that's your main thing you're looking for, that's the goal. So basically all these cannons, you can only fire once. So you've got to use them in the right order. And I'll basically just show you the order. That you can go the wrong way, which I did in the last one, but it means if you go the wrong way, you've got to fight this hard enemy, and it is really hard. The other way you can do it is you can just run around and dodge that enemy completely. So the basic strat you want to do is you want to defeat this enemy here. Defeat them, flick this switch to lower this... Uh, you know, platform, whatever you call it, to lower the sun. Then you're going to go ahead and fire this cannon, which is going to break this box here. Once you do that, you're going to go back over, and this is where I got it wrong. Uh, no, you're going, to, you're going to go back over, you're going to flick this switch again to lower this platform here, which means you're then going to fire this cannon into this box here, which is what you have to do. I did that the opposite way when I did it and make sure you do that. Also, make sure you kill any enemies in front of the cannons. You never want to kill an enemy with a cannon. So this cannon over here, <coughs> wow, I just lost my voice for a second. This cannon over here, you're gonna not want to shoot this enemy. So um, once you've cleared out this barrel with this cannon over here, you're gonna be able to shoot this cannon all the way over here and destroy this box. But once again, you're gonna to have to defeat this enemy first. So don't do that before then. To do that, you're going to have to come in here and defeat these little enemies. The little ones are easy, so don't stress. The reason you're going to want to use that cannon to destroy this box is because eventually you're going to have to come in here. Um, and the way, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to be able to flick this yellow switch to run out this way. And unless you've defeated, uh, sorry, blown up this box, you can't get out. That's the mistake I made on my turn. So that, that's pretty much the direction you want to go. Um, once you've done that, you can get into here. Like I said, you can come in here. And basically this cannon over here, you can fire that cannon, which is gonna shoot all the way over here. You'll have to defeat this enemy first, and it's gonna de destroy this box. Just, just remember to defeat the enemies first. That enemy there, kill it. Otherwise it, it blows up into them and you gotta restart. So that's gonna open this section, and then you don't have to do any more cannons in here to get to the main reward, which is all the way down here. You just gotta defeat the enemies. But you're also going to fire this cannon here along your way, which is going to shoot through across here. Um, that box will already be destroyed, and it's going to shoot all the way into this one. The reason you can do it, that is, once you've done that, you can come back around, you can defeat this enemy. Like I said, you can go in here, you can flick that yellow switch, you can run out this way and around. It's a bit complicated. Like I said, the quick run through is going to be a bit harder, but um, I will do the run through. And then you're going to run around here, and that means you're going to come through into here, uh, through here and then that you're gonna have that flicked down which means you're fine to go and you can just walk straight in here defeat these two mid-strength enemies and get the rest of the rewards that's pretty much how it works there's one other little one here that you'll be able to do which is if you defeat this enemy here you can fire this cannon over here and it's going to destroy that box and let you get to the little goodies there that is basically it i'm sorry if it was hard to understand because it is a little bit of a complicated one when you're trying to show it that quick. But here we go. We're gonna do the quick run through and try and show you guys as easily as possible what you wanna do. So my, my team, and, and this is the other thing, if you're struggling with some stages, go around the map, defeat other enemies, get other um, relics, 
and you know you might be able to get what you need also don't be afraid to hit the weak enemies save up your energy bars and then attack the stronger ones um i do that on a couple so it's definitely an option so there we go we pull that we're gonna fire this cannon and also you may just have to come back towards the end of the event. It, it's always an option because basically as soon as the event starts, make sure you log in, you get in, um, and you can do it. People say that if you remove gear from your heroes, it makes it easier. I don't know. I've never tried it. I'm not really too fast because I've never had that much of a drama with them. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do this one again. We're going to pull that lever. And we're going to fire this cannon. Boom. Get rid of that box. We're then going to go defeat this enemy. And kill that. And it shouldn't be too hard. So like I said, this is probably like 5 to 10 days into it on this test server. So basically I just waited until I gained some experience on my heroes. And then it became fairly easy. But like I said, that one boss that you don't have to fight if you do it the right way was still really hard for me. So now I'm just going to make sure there's no other enemies in my way, which there is this guy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run over here. Defeat this one. And we're going to go like that. These little gnome dudes are crazy. I, I really want them. I like that guy that runs in and charges at the start. However, we are getting the new mauler, so not too stressed about that. I like I like this guy's little cannon that he places as well. It's cool. I like it. It's, it's, it's awesome. I like the cannon. I do. It's pretty cool. It's like the totems, but it's a cannon. Um, so then we're going to go kill this one. And beautiful, we'll do that. Defeat these guys. They're not, like I said, these easy ones are really easy. You can probably just save up your whole energy bar if you want to and not really stress about it. But there's that, kill that. Now that box is open to be shot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run down here and fire that cannon and it will, boom. Nice, destroy that. So that, that's like, that's not a necessary first step, but it's something I'm gonna do anyway because we gotta do it. Now I'm gonna kill this guy because he was in the way of that other cannon. So we're gonna kill this one off. And you can do this in a few different orders. Like, And like I said, you can get it wrong and still get the main reward so you can come back to it later anyway. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do this. Hopefully we beat this guy. I don't think it's gonna to be too much issue. All these, these Kelthers might be annoying when they die and keep attacking me. But we should hopefully not die, Savius. Yes, okay, we're good. Nice. Okay, so now that one's out of the way. That allows this cannon over here to shoot directly through. You gotta make sure that moon, that blue moon isn't up and it's gonna destroy that one. So we're gonna come back around to here and fire that cannon. We can collect this relic as well. And like I said, you can always go through and try and defeat easier enemies and get relics wherever you can. Uh, but that's going to destroy that box, and that is going to let us in everywhere over there. Um, and we'll collect this one. It's just going to be a blue relic. Uh, what do I have on my team? Let's go to the light bearers. I think I'm a majority light bearers team. Um, like I said, you can come through, get these ones. I'm not too stressed about those at the moment. I'm not going to attack this big guy until I get some better relics. So now we're going to go over here. Oh, there's a relic there that I can grab. Uh... And you can check all these relics at the start. So if you are struggling, you can try, sort of re-roll for better uh, relics. Uh, damage increase. Yeah, let's just do that one. So there we go. We've got that collected. Thank you very much. And then other little niche things like this one, you know, obviously you have to click that button to be able to get it. All those sorts of things, which you can use this lever over here to do. So now what we can do is we're going to run over here. We're going to defeat this guy just so we can get that other relic just to strengthen up a little bit because my team's getting a little bit low. Um, and then basically we're just gonna, I shouldn't have let Blunder attack there, but hey, it is what it is. Um, we'll check that back on auto and we'll collect this one. And that's a really nice one to collect. So we'll take that. Moving on, we're gonna go up here. And once again, so to get to this one up the top there, we're gonna have to defeat a really hard enemy and we might not be able to do it. So we'll just see what happens here. I'll try and save my energy against these Savius, um, Saviuses or it's just Savi, Savi, I don't know. What's the plural? What's the plural? Someone tell me. <laughs> um, so that's that, we'll kill that. We'll see if we can get this because this is, a, this is your, one of your big relics. Um, so it's not too bad if you can get that to help you out early on. So because we don't have uh, many of the little ones, wait, we can get that one first, which I'll take some 
crit rate. All these relics seem the exact same as last time. So I don't know. The relics may be the same and you may not be able to reroll. Maybe. Not sure. Let's see what we can do. Last time the Verk absolutely destroyed me with his poison bomb thing. So let's just hope we can kill something. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. I don't know if we will. Lucius get another shield. Rowan stuns. Nice. Okay, shield. Got the potions and stuff. Uh, maybe Lucius get another shield. We would be good if Lucius gets another shield. Okay, I'm going to call this good there. I'm going to call it good. Uh, I might have to Rowan ult here. No, we got it. Okay, nice. Like I said, you might not be able to do that one straight away. Um, but it's not the end of the world because the other one I found not too hard to get to. Um, but now we can get this. Uh, I'm going to go for the Light Bearers one because I'm using Majority Light Bearers. And then we can come down here, defeat these guys. Um, let's have a look. So, Auto, let's chuck that on because we want to kill stuff quickly on this one just to get some health back and all that jazz. We're going to go the Shield just to regenerate some health and we should be pretty solid for the next one. Yep, perfect. Okay, so we're going to drop that one and move on into this guy. And this is only that mid-strength boss, so it's not too hard either. So, should be pretty fine with this one. Like I said, the Belinda's going to do a pretty good chuck load of damage to that Savius and make us pretty good. We get the stuns and we're, we're done. Yep, easy. Easy done. Now, my energy bars are a bit low, which may affect me going into... Okay, now we've got another mini boss here which is okay. Uh, get the Lucius shield up, get some damage rolling, and then get a Belinda ult, and we should be pretty happy here. The um, the Thorns are quite annoying with their little just make something die thing, but uh, I think we'll be right here. Yep, good-o, nice. That's that one done. Always remembering it may just be hard scaling. Everyone scales different and it may just get annoying for you. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and defeat one of these guys. I think they're the same enemy. I can't remember. No, they're different. Okay, let's just go defeat this one. And this one I found you can probably just take off uh, auto, not use any abilities, and just use this one as a generate energy for your team because um, there's not too much damage coming into these guys from what I found last time as well. Um, so you can just generate there. If you needed to use an ultimate, you can always try the other one as that dummy. So this cannon, like I said, that middle box is clear. So we can shoot all the way across to there, which is something you need to do. So we're going to fire that cannon. Perfect. Oh, yeah, there's a relic over there that I can grab. <laughs> Forgot about that. Uh, now we're going to jump over here to this relic here and then we'll go get the next one as well. Uh, each time an enemy is slain, I, I'm going to go with that one. Get the, get the extra attributes, because sometimes you kill one or two quick, and then there's one or two that get really annoying. Yeah, I think these are all exactly the same. I think they are all exactly the same. Um, you can always heal up if you want to there as well. Um, and you can defeat this guy first if you want, just to get that extra relic um, to help you out. And I'm just going to go use Scrag and Lucius just to survive and deal some damage. And that should be fine for my team. And that is going to be it. Nice. And Lucius is at full energy. Scrag's not quite there, but we should be fine for that boss. But we've got to fight a weak enemy anyway, so we should be fine. Come over here, we can grab this. Uh, I'm just going to go with the front line because, you know, that's my front line that I want to save. Collect another goodie. And we'll roll over into this one. And defeat that. It's a bit slow. Hope you're enjoying the commentary. Uh, I don't know why I use Lucius' shield, but he should regenerate enough to be able to use it again next battle. Yep. Yeah, we're all good. We're all good. Perfect. Okay, so the next battle's the the big one, and it was it, it's a it's a bit annoying if this dude uh, the Zolrath survives last because he resets and then it just becomes really annoying. But if you have all your ultimates ready, uh, hopefully your team should be good. My team's pretty good because I have Lucius Shield, and then my Rowan's going to straight away ult on these uh, Sylvanas who are just going to pretty much melt to it. So definitely having a bit of mitigation and full energy bars is important for this one. But once you've got that, it shouldn't be too bad to actually get done. And I'm just going to take it off auto. Hopefully we kill the Zolrath first. Yes, we did, which is perfect. He was already dead long ago. And then we kill those guys. And happy days. So now we're through. That gets us into this spot here, which is going to have that chest with the Selective Hero ticket. So that's the main one that everyone will really want to get. After that, we're going to come back around here. Back around here. Um, into this position here, and we're going to come and defeat this guy. This is the next one I want to beat. 
because I want to get to the next lot of goodies, which is in there. The other goodies you do get is the five faction scrolls and five normal scrolls, which, hey, is nice. So uh, we're just going to go into this guy, put it on auto. If I don't do too well here, I'll just have to go fight a weak enemy, which there's still one at the entrance uh, to this area, which I can just do that and then get my energy bars up and attack it. But it looks like we are going to be fine anyway, so no dramas there. Perfect. Yoink. Um, and after that, you, you'd obviously want to defeat this guy to get into that section and get the, the goodies there. I'm just going to skip that for the sake of time, and we're going to go over here and defeat this guy. Once again, these are only those mid-level bosses, so they're not too hard anyway, and you should be pretty fine with defeating these guys if you have got that other um, legendary relic. And beautiful, get through that. You don't have to go into here, but I definitely think it's worth it. Um, Okay, now that I know that these are definitely the same relics, I probably would have gone the Shard of Force from the other blue one and then got the second Shard of Force and then you're pretty good. Um, yeah, because this has got the, the, the cocoons, definitely all the exact same. So now that we've got all those, you can go in here and get this goodie here, but you know, that's self-explanatory. We're going to go over here, pull this lever here. And this is why at the very start we had to use the cannons in that order so that we could come over here. Uh, let's collect... Well, he's my main man, so let's. Let, we, we, Scrig's my main man, so we're going to do that. Um, and then we can defeat this guy to get out. And then we should be pretty good. Uh, we'll put it on... Oh, yeah, we got the... That was a waste of a shield. Once you get the, the, the spider cocoons... And they've changed the animation of them, which I really like. I think it looks cool. It suits more the style of the game in general. Um, but, yeah, we can go over there. You can also come here and get this one as well if you want to do that. And there are, are also that other goodie box there but once again don't need it so not going to go there you have got the potions to heal up as well if you want to um but basically what, what we're going to do is i'm just going to show you what happens here because if you come over here because you went the wrong way and you know you, you think you have to battle this guy they basically say don't do that you can come through this way and that's what basically told me you know i didn't i did my cannons in the wrong way the first time so you don't have to battle that enemy which is really nice because it's really hard um like i said i couldn't do it and then we can come around here and we can just, Scrag's really nice for this one because the trees don't stun him. So <laughs> I'm really happy I had Scrag. Uh, but yeah, this one hopefully isn't too bad because it is only a weak enemy. So you should be able to just run through it even though the trees are really annoying. Um, and we should be good there. Run through that, let's just get through to here. Once again, you can kill this little guy, get that loot, pick up a relic. But once again, that would have been the third Shard of Force. So definitely worth getting the Shard of Force uh, for this event for sure. Um, and then you can go and take on any enemy you want. We'll just jump over here and then we'll go begin battle. Auto's on and we should be pretty solid just to do this and wrap up the event. So that is going to be it. Yep, easy. Spot on. Okay, so that's that one. Now we can come in here, collect the rest of the goodies. Um, I'm not going to bore you guys with collecting them all. I'll just go to the big one. And that is pretty much the event done. Obviously, there's those little ones around. I got to kill that guy. Um, you know, I've got to do the blue switch to get that down. Obviously, you're not going to do the blue switch. Uh, where is the blue switch? Uh, obviously, it's the blue switch here. You're going to have to flick that, run back around, get that one. Um, there's that one down here with the cannon. You're going to shoot that cannon. You've got to defeat this enemy first, and you're going to get that one. All those things just... You know, they're self-explanatory. That is pretty much it for the event. Some really nice rewards. Let me know in the comments below what you guys, if you're still hanging around, because I know most people left after the quick intro. If you're still hanging around, say hi in the comments. But um, let me know also what you're going to be taking from not that one, from this one. Um, I'm going to be definitely going the Hendrick on my... Uh, Gwyneth account because he's what I'm building and for the other accounts I'm just gonna hold on to it like I don't I'm a big fan of hoarding these if you're not sure wait and see what you get on my main account I do have the um, Aeron at Mythic Plus and I think I'm two copies away So I'll probably go for Aeron on that account and then I really want to build an Antandra on one of my accounts So I'll probably go for her on one of them as well probably my Scrag account um, And then yeah, so that is it for this one guys. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing the next one. Cheers